The key to high quality training is a high quality presentation of the material. And thanks to the abundance of different types of materials, our learning journeys help in this as no other tool can. In this video, we will look at all the available types of materials for learning journeys and their basic settings. If you are interested in this topic, then watch the video to the end. Types of materials in learning journeys. The first type of learning journey material is video. The material video allows you to upload videos in MP4 format with the subsequent addition of interactive inserts. This will give your employees the opportunity to identify misunderstood points and consolidate new knowledge while watching videos. By the way, your employees can earn rating points for correct answers in interactive inserts. In the content settings, you can add a title, an image, set up participation in the rating and the number of rating points received if you successfully complete interactive inserts. The next type of content is document. This type of content will allow you to upload files in the format that you see on your screen and your employee will be able to view them on their device. Use documents to add reference materials that complement the training topic. In the material settings, you can add a title, an image, and set the recommended time for viewing the material. Next in line is long read. This type of content allows you to create your own long reads using a convenient text editor with the ability to add images and links to the internal materials of the platform and external sources. In the material settings, you can add a title, an image, and set the recommended time for viewing the material. The tests material allows you to create tests with flexible settings and different types of questions. We recommend adding tests at the end of each block of learning journeys to test employees' knowledge. In the settings tab of the test material, you can add a title, a picture, the number of attempts to pass, participation in the rating, and the recommended time to study the material. The test settings tab allows you to set the threshold for passing, display recommendations after testing, the ability to answer questions in any order, and display answers during testing. On the Results screen tab, you can configure the display of test results. In the Questions tab, you can divide the test questions into blocks and set a random selection of questions from the list. You can also import and export a list of questions. And when setting up the test questions themselves, you can choose the type of question, ask the question itself with the answer, a picture, the number of rating points for the correct answer, the order of answers and recommendations in case of an incorrect answer. You can use the link material to add links to internal platform materials and external sources. In the material settings, you can add a title, image, link type, set your own text for the button, and specify the recommended time to study the material. The PDF material type allows you to upload materials in the ePDF format to the platform. But what is the difference between PDF and documents? The difference is that the PDF content type is more specialized and has an additional setting that allows or prohibits employees from downloading and sharing this type of content. While in the content type documents, you can download all the attached files. You can also specify the recommended time to study the material. The SCORM content type allows you to upload interactive presentations for which employees can get the necessary knowledge as well as rating points. In the materials section, you can add a title, an image, the ability to participate in the rating and the number of rating points that an employee will receive for successfully completing the material. In the settings, there is also a compatibility with mobile devices checkbox which adds notification with recommendations for completing the feed material in order to avoid any difficulties in the learning process as much as possible. And if you already have ready-made materials created on the basis of tilde or files compiled on such constructors as iSpring or Articulate, 
then you can load them using the HTML5 content type. In the material settings, you can add a title, an image, and set the recommended time for viewing the material. We're done here. We hope this video was useful for you. We have learned about all the types of materials and their settings in learning journeys. And now you should have no difficulties creating high quality training materials. Have a nice day.